All right, in this video, we're going to do a few examples related to finding two by two determinants of a matrix. So the idea is if your matrix A, if you have the entries A, B, C, D, to calculate the determinant of that matrix, we simply sort of do like a little cross multiplication. We take A times D and then subtract away the product of B times C. If this determinant equals zero, we say that matrix A is a singular matrix. So just some terminology. Um, so a couple questions here. True or false, suppose we want to know if this matrix, negative uh, 2, negative 10, 4, negative 20, um, is that a, a singular matrix or not? Well, again, all we have to do is just simply calculate the determinant. So the determinant of A here will take negative 2 times negative 20. We subtract away the product of 4 times negative 10. Well, negative 2 times negative 20 is positive 40. It looks like we have a negative 4 and a negative 10, which will be another positive 40. So since we're getting 80 out for the determinant, and 80, well, that's certainly not equal to 0. This matrix is not singular. So by saying it's singular, we would say that's a false statement. Okay, Definitely not singular. Suppose we want to calculate a determinant here generically. We've got a equals 4x, negative 3, and y. Well, again, to calculate the determinant of this, we just sort of cross multiply here. So I'm going to get 4 times y minus I'm going to take negative 3 times x. Well, we can simplify that and say it's 4y uh, plus 3x. One last quick one here. Suppose we know that the value of the determinant of this matrix is 24. Um, we've got negative 2, 6, w, uh, negative 2, 6, 3, and w. If we know this determinant of this matrix is 24, we want to figure out the value for w. Well, again, to calculate the determinant, we'll take negative 2 times w, and then we'll subtract away the product of 3 times 6. And again, we know that this determinant has to equal 24, so now we've just got a nice little equation we can solve. This is negative 2w minus 18 equals 24. Well, we can add 18 to both sides. If we add 18, we'll get positive 42 on the right. If we divide both sides by negative 2, we'll be left with w equals negative 21. So we would basically have to have a negative 21 hanging out in the bottom right corner of our matrix so that this determinant equals 24. 